Hi guys, I'm going to make this what you're seeing now. What is this? This is Sardi Flexible Mocha. So I've made on GitHub a collection of all kind of icons and themes that go very well with Linux Mint. And one of them is the Mocha theme or actually the Faba theme. And um, yeah, really, I should re rename it to Sardi Flexible Faba, since Mocha is only uh, part, it has some icons, but it inherits all the folders from Faba. So I like this kind of folders, and have the Sardi Flexible script to change, as you can see on top. The only thing we could do extra is here change the Mint White theme, which is also covered in a YouTube movie, and save and change it also to this purplish uh, purplish color so how did i do this let's um, first delete some stuff here let's go to the normal sardi flexible which is the blue one so we can safely delete the icons here so this is what we made this is now deleted again and let's uh, do it again so what do i need to do I need to have, of course, the originals, so the, the Mocha icons, or the Faba icons in this case. And I installed them all, as you can see, I have a lot of icons installed due to the GitHub, uh, the GitHub icon theme pack, I think it's called, or team icon pack. Let's quickly take a look at it, since you have to have the, the software, the, the original documents these the themes icons pack and one of them is the faba latest or the mocha latest so these two are related they need each other so that you install them and then you have the files the original uh, documents we're going to need them and well if you have them then you go to the icons because it's in the user share icons we take a look at the Faba and the 48 for instance places this is the kind of icon I like then you can say okay we're going to copy these icons and we're going to do something with it later so I'm going to put them here already and then let's go first let's um, make everything ready we need our icons from Sardi Flexible, we're going to copy paste them. Sardi Flexible is going to be called Sardi Faba this time, since they are coming from the Faba. We are going to the scalable. No, let's not forget to delete the cache, to change the index theme. Those are very important things. We're going to call it Faba save okay then you can go inside the scalable and here you have the places so these ones will be changed by these ones so control a delete control a copy v so now we have the folders from Faba inside it. Why can I do this? Because these are SVGs. If they were PNGs, I would have more trouble. I should uh, go into detail in the formatting then. So, scalable places. That's done. What's not done is our script. We still have everything in blue, but that's the easiest part. You change the color here display change the color this is the blue color you change it to something else and the something else you should figure that out and I still have the program open I take GPEG I press here princess on 3 and then it says press spacebar to sample color on the mouse pointer and then you move somewhere where you have an Faba icon team since we are do not have it we should change it 
two Faba. For instance, this one. And then you see that you have here this icon is the one that's not changing. I always go to this one since I already know that this one is the, the better one. So you can choose different the variety of, of um, pink, of course, because it's a shading. So choose something you like. Press the spacebar and let's see, do I have a different kind of blue chalk? Oh, it's almost the same. It's, all even, it's also called blue chalk, but it's completely different in coat. So we're going to take this coat this time. We're going to go back. No, let it be on Faba. That's a good idea. Okay, let it be Faba. And then change the color. It's ready, I think. Yep. You change it. Control V. Don't forget to get rid of this. Save it. Up, done. Run it. Change color. One, two, three, four. And then you have your new team. Go back to the editing here, the, the theme manager. Change your own theme now, Sarda Flexible Faba. As you can see, we've uh, created our own theme, the Sardi Flexible Faba, in I don't know much how much seconds. So that's why it's so interesting to work with this kind of, yeah, Hi hierarchy is that uh, the way to say it um, a new way of um, combining elements of themes so like I said the only thing left to do I think is here the Linux Mint 18 cinnamon the, the Y theme so why not do that together then we have a finishing product I haven't done that uh, in the other uh, the other time so we have to go to the github of eric and here is the github of eric you go up you go to here and then you have the ultimate linux mint 18 cinnamon you go to the mint white theming this is the one you need change color sh we're going to download this We're going to extract it. Here it is. So, there. And we have the mint white theming. So we have here change color. Sure. Let's take a look. Quick look. We have a personal color. We have to change a light color and a dark color. Okay. No problem, we can find these colors. But there is other stuff to do as well. You should also install everything you need to install. You're going to run this, install packages. It's all explained in another YouTube movie. Everything is installed. Yes, of course, I've tried it before. Then, maybe I should add a little readme as well here. Then it's up to the mint y and then linux mint github you should get the here so it's not mine it's from uh, linux mint and actually it came from horst we're going to download this one not you can git clone it as well so let's just download it I've, uh, in the other youtube movie i do a git clone so now i do it extract here this is going to be my new theme but there is a problem and the color is not okay so let's get rid of all the things we do not need you get this change color you put it here on top of the source because it's going to oh where is here it is let's open it so you know why i'm doing this it's going to look into the folder source you see so that's why i put it here it has to be up here now the color i have to change the color so no not this one this was my color maybe i can use the other one as well so copy the clipboard let's put that here 
where is my sublime text so this will be one color and the other one I'll take the other one for the lighter version you can choose any color you want and then you run it for save it of course it's going to change colors as you can see new color personal light color dark color so these are your colors and they will be changed you no need to know anything about inkscape just run change color one two three four five done so now you have your code here inside here you have changed some of the icons not all of them so we still have to do some work but as you can see ah yes it's opening with inkscape but that doesn't, doesn't matter voila as you can see we have already all in the color we need so that's okay but next up is changing them of running them so these are still green so get rid of this one 318 and the t0 assets this is still green and the dark assets are still green and then the menu toolbar is still green delete that as well now we have this folder here as you can see that's also fixed that's a lot of work if you want to edit that we manually in Inkscape so um, it's quite good that we have this script so it's easily done in four or five seconds how many seconds was it so everything is now this kind of pink the same here um, I think we're ready I'm thinking if I forgot something I don't think so um, I don't think so I don't think so I deleted everything now we're going to run this one build themes build themes and we'll have to pause the movie here I'm going to show you what's going on but we'll have to make the movie a bit smaller here are the assets it's going to create everything coming from these uh, pink SVGs and every little item is now going to be saved and also transformed of converted to PNG so it will be used later on in RMCSS and asset files all right little pause here the script has finished we've started um, it's it has started to make all the little assets but then as well <coughs> the CSS had to be updated and had to build eventually where we what we need meaning we need our user share themes so this is the ones we need but the naming is not correct so let's uh, name it uh, chalk now let's make it limit fava so we know it's uh, located with uh, just to do something with the fava theme and let's not name it to the color so that's one thing never forget go inside index theme and change it as well there baba safe and then up this is enough in the other movies well it's not enough maybe i should just do it like it should be done Voila, save now everywhere it's Faba and then here as well it even is not necessary you can if you rename the folder right then it takes in cinnamon it takes uh, the right uh, name the name of the folder but well let's be precise and that's how it's done and then you're going to take all this control C go to your icons new to your themes control v 
these are themes we've made and then you activate the theme to make sure that everything looks in order let's delete a little bit so we have made a new mint y theme this is due to the script on github so that's why i have so many now but with an uninstalled script i get, get rid of everything here it is mint white dark faba that's one thing and another one mint white dark faba and here it is so this is already in order we should get rid of this maybe did i miss something because i still here see some blue this is okay this is still blue yes i missed something what did i miss you go to here <laughs> the background is just fitting now i didn't choose it really so so fitting mint white dark faba and then we have let's wait for it voila. we have also this pinkish color here and also the little buttons now so mint white dark faba mint white dark faba mint white dark faba three things don't forget them and then we have our own personal sarda flexible faba i don't know how many minutes can go into it but this is our result you can have it too just have fun with your linux system experiment a little bit and um, you have uh, a great looking desktop